Hey guys, George MGR Performance. Uh, we're continuing on how to improve a cathedral port cylinder head yourself at home with the basics. I have part one that I'm showing this 799 casting cylinder head where it flows stock, which was the numbers here. Then we did a, uh, a throat into the top, uh, into the seat, a little bit of work, and he picked up a substantial amount at 524 CFM. Follow the video, there is a part one, part two, part three, part four, and this is part five. So, basically, uh, where I'm at right now, um, where's my light? Give me a second. <clears throat> I was grinding here. So we had, we had done the, you see that ridge on the seat? We blend that out into the, into the throat ball area kind of. We gained 20 CFM, 24 CFM on 500. Then we remove the boss in the corner then we did a little bit more ball work, and now I I narrowed down the guide, and I worked a little bit of the short turn and the ball area. Nothing crazy. I didn't open up anything. Okay. And uh, I can do a quick uh, flow test. Uh, let me go. Put it at 28. We're gonna check for leaks. You have to put a level one, then you go below 150 CFM. And you gotta go here and put it at level one. Close our in my case, a micrometer, which other people have different stuff, like a different fixture from Brzezinski or whatever. I made this myself, it works great and it didn't cost me a thousand dollars US. So, uh, all right, so right now, because I have a softer spring on the intake side, I have to hold it up. We'll check for leaks. Okay, hold this up. We have a 3.5 CFM leak. So you go in here. Now we can do our flow testing. So we'll go to one, two, three, four. We're at a hundred lift. Okay, we'll go here. Three on three, and we start. We have to hold it up.
67 CFM. That bench is cold right now. So the numbers are gonna be a little bit more conservative. One, two, three, four. We're at 200 lift. Seven five. We'll go to level four. Level four. Let's test it at level four also. So sometimes when you when you reach the end. When you're closer to the end of one level, it will show a bit higher. And then if you put it to the next level and you're like low capability of that number it will show less. So I do it the same as I was testing because I was testing them at three and three. So I keep it the same. So I got 68.5 before and I got 147.5. So now we're gonna go to 300. One, two, three, four. Here we put one to four. yesterday that I flow tested this so it's pretty damn consistent it's doing almost the identical numbers now we'll go to 500 one two three four This is minimal work. We just blended. Um, we just blended that ridge right there. Remove the bump here. Narrow down the guide a little bit, not much, and blend everything into the short turn. So nothing extreme that you guys cannot do at home. So we're gonna go to 600. This is 550. So we check where it flows at 550. Let's try. Check that yesterday. 550, it goes like 273, which I said once I hit that number, I'm stopping. So pretty much, I don't even need to touch the chamber. I don't even need to touch the rest of the port. That's all I needed to get because with these numbers, 
and work the exhaust port a little bit. I mean, no problem to make 550 horsepower. So <clears throat> let's go to 600. I believe it backs up at six. So that's the only thing that I'm gonna try to fix, not to back out at six, to still flow at six. So we'll see how we're gonna fix that. So the numbers i mean you guys get the picture i could go to like all the way to 900 i believe somewhere here it's pretty much all the way at the bottom been a success we touched four areas without touching the look I did not touch the port not at the bottom not on the top didn't open up anything and we're at 274 CFM 273 CFM at 500 so this head will do exactly what I want us to do the only thing I might do afterwards it's maybe enlarge the ball area a bit so I can gain a little, like, so it doesn't drop at six because my camshaft is 600 lift. So I can just maintain over 600 here. So all I need to do is give more area around the ball, ball area so that the air can turn instead of separating because basically right now, this area here, get this, thing. this area here is small, so there's so much speed, it's choking this, the short side right here. So what you have to do is open the ball area and you can lay back the short, but I won't touch the short, I'm just gonna open up the ball area a bit and it should fix the problem. George MGR Performance, like I said, this is minimal work for maximum gains for people that want to do it at home. I have done this cylinder heads with a stock valve to flow 310. That's the most I've gotten with a stock valve, 310 CFM at 600 lift. And I've also gotten this heads to flow 325, 330. It was actually a 317 casting. 325, 330 with a 208, uh, 2055 intake valve and a lot of work. So this is not me trying to get the max out of the head. I'm trying to do little touch-ups to make the most gains. And if we now compare, if we now compare our part five to the part one, okay, we're up to at 100, we're up five at 200, we're up six, almost and a half at three, we're up nine at four, uh, we're up uh, 31.5 at five, uh, six, we're up 23, seven, we're up 21, eight, um, we're up uh, 24, 9, 27. So we've, th this cylinder port, this port right here over this will make 30, 40 horsepower more right now with minimum work. So I just showed you guys how to gain 30, 40 horsepower by yourself without having to, do a full porting job, just touching the right areas. 
Look at the port. Not touched, not touched. No valve job, no back cuts, no nothing. Just experience and knowing what to touch and what not to touch. George MGL Performance, I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know if you guys uh, want me to keep going. I really don't want to keep going, to be honest, because for, our, for what I want to use this cylinder head, it's already perfect the way it is. I don't need more flow than that. It will do exactly what I want it to do. And now I have to match all the other ports, so I don't want to spend days porting these heads. I want to be able to finish this head in one day, and then the next day finish the other one. You know what I mean? Thanks for watching. Hit a like, subscribe, and uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Thank you, guys.